Hi everyone, welcome to Morning Devotions. I'm running a little late. I got up, but I got sidetracked. Uh, had to do several things. So, I made it though. I always make it. <laughs> On our prayer request today, Tiho Creates has an unspoken cre uh, request. Diane's grandson Richie got to come home on Wednesday. That's good. And uh, Sharon P. The house needs prayer for her work to pick up so she can pay her bills. And that's a, a problem with a lot of people right now. Uh, things are slow. Uh, Diane's friend Madge had a tube put in her neck, tracheotomy, and they moved her to another facility. They put her on the COVID floor. Um, I'm sure she's scared. Uh, and, and also pray for her family. Uh, Kim's husband, Artie, is starting to get better. He had COVID. Uh, Karina's sister, Laura, is in very critical condition. She needs a miracle. And Diane, uh, Vernia's brother, Bill, got his feeding tube out and is eating well. That's good to know because he was in a coma a few days ago. Missy and Sherman both have COVID-19. Pray they are better soon. I think she was already on oxygen. Uh, anyway, so if you're already on oxygen, you, might, you probably obviously have lung problems or respiratory problems, so COVID wouldn't be a good thing for that. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Matthew 28, 1 through 10. After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the woman hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Can you imagine what they thought when they saw him? Okay, our devotion is called Running to Tell. The modern day marathon is based on the story of a Greek messenger, Pheidippides. According to legend, in 490 BC, he ran approximately 25 miles from Marathon to Athens to announce the Greeks' victory against their formidable foe, the invading Persians. Today, people run marathons for the personal satisfaction of an athletic achievement. But Pheidippides had a greater purpose behind his effort. Each of his steps was run for the sheer joy of delivering good news to his kinsmen. Some 500 years later, Two women also ran to deliver good news, the most pivotal news in all of history. When Mary and Mary Magdalene arrived at the tomb where Jesus had been placed after his crucifixion, they found it empty. An angel told them that Jesus had risen from the dead and to go quickly and tell his disciples. The women, afraid yet filled with joy, ran to tell the disciples what they had discovered. May we have the same joyful exuberance at the resurrection of Jesus, and may it invigorate us to share the good news with others. We may not even need to run farther than the next door to find someone who needs to know about our Savior. 
He won the battle against death so we might live victoriously with him forever. Who shared the good news of Christ's resurrection with you? How will you share it with others today? God, I rejoice because of your victory over death. Thank you for allowing me the privilege of sharing this good news with those you've put in my life. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs, Lord, and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. And remember the families too, Lord. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out and share with everybody you know, please, please, please. All right, everyone. Um, dreary again, pretty much. It doesn't look quite as cloudy as it, as it has, but it's basically another dreary day. <laughs> so... I don't know, uh, I haven't really planned anything out, <laughs> so, I don't remember, I think we needed, uh, something like 13 questions for Ask My Tablet, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to work on a kitty's corner yet, but, uh, we'll get into something, always do, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching everybody, and I'll see you at morning coffee break, God bless.